Hey, Dumo, great to see you. Thanks a lot for doing this. Number eight, Brian Dumoulin. In the slot, the Dumoulin, right there. Hey! Shoots and scores! Oh, Donna needs a donut. I'm curious about Biddeford, Maine, because when I think of Maine, I think of lakes and trees and beautiful beaches, natural beaches and lobsters. I don't know about hockey, so I just wondered how it all started for you. Uh, when I was age three or four, I mean, I had a lot of energy, and at that time, hockey is really the only organized sport you can kind of play at that age, and I didn't really focus on hockey too much at the beginning, but as I got older, that became more of my sole focus, especially in high school. He's big, fast, has a rocket for a shot, and can pass the puck through any kind of traffic. Best of all, he's just a sophomore. I was playing competitively uh, for like a travel team. Actually, Casey DeSmith was on that team with me growing up. Uh, we played probably in the same age together from when we were 12 to 16, 17. So we, we played a long time together. I started playing for my high school team also uh, in Biddeford, Maine, which was, uh, was awesome. I mean, it was a lot of fun. And at that time, that was the sport to see. I mean, we had a great team and uh, we had a great coach. So it was, it was a lot of fun playing with my teammates and being able to win two state championships. I would like to go to a Division I college. A major Division I college in the area around like UNH, Boston University, Boston College. Talk about your experience at Boston College and what that was like advancing to a couple of championships. My freshman year was special. I mean, we weren't expected at the beginning of the year to win a national championship. So it's something that we just kept getting better and better. And by the time that the championships came around, we were always playing our best hockey at those times. And it was the same sort of thing. It was really special to be a part of. Went to BC for three years is what helped develop me as a person, as a player. It's still a big part of my life and I still got one more class left to graduate. So hopefully I'll be <laughs> done with that pretty soon. Have you ultimately gotten your degree from Boston College? Yeah, I got my degree a few years ago and it seemed like harder and harder the, as the years went by. It was, it was tougher to get one or two classes in, but uh, yeah, I was able to manage. I, I was able to take a couple online and uh, I was able to have a one-on-one -on -one class where I could take electives where I was still in Pittsburgh. So that's something I'm very proud of. I'm glad I stuck with it. We have a trade to announce. Pittsburgh trades Jordan Stahl to Carolina in exchange for Carolina's own first round pick in this 2012 draft, the eighth selection overall, and Brandon Sutter, and Brian Dumoulin. And I remember Gary Bettman pronouncing your name, your name Dumoulin. What do you remember about that, uh, that draft and, and hearing your name being traded by Carolina to Pittsburgh? It was exciting. I, I went to a development camp uh, with Pittsburgh right away and you kind of learned how they treat the players and how they do things in Pittsburgh and it, it definitely made me feel like it, I was becoming a part of a family and it was nice. Uh, I mean, we had a lot of guys at that development camp that I still play with now, so I've uh, developed a lot of friendships from it and uh, very happy to be traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And you ended up in, a, in an organization that had a really good developmental program. Uh, you had to feel pretty good, I would think, about the opportunity to play in the minors for that team in this organization. Gibbons, top of the far circle, heads toward the net, backdoor tip, rebound, Dumoulin shoots and scores! What a pass, what a goal! One thing, especially with John Hines and Lane Nazardine as coaches, like they really pushed us, wanted to develop us as players uh, down the Wilkes-Barre, and it seemed like every game there was uh, a, a person from management there watching us so we always felt like you had eyes on you and they, they really cared about you as a player. I think your first game in the NHL was against Detroit, am I right? Yep. Do you remember it well? Yeah, I remember it well. It was, uh, I wasn't actually sure I was going to play. That was going to be my first game and I remember like about eight or nine minutes on the clock before we were about to go out there to play that they had told me that I was finally playing and uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, we ended up winning the game, I believe. so. Uh, it, was, it was a great thing to be a part of. It was in the old Joe Louis Arena, so that was pretty special. Dumo, first national hockey. 
Dumo. We have to talk about the Stanley Cup Championship. So just an amazing run of success for you. Uh, maybe you're the secret ingredient for the Penguins because everywhere you go, you win. What was that like? What is familiar with our championships in, at BC and in high school and with Pittsburgh Penguins is that we were playing our best hockey right before playoffs and that year 16. I mean, no one really expected us to win the cup that year. Mikey, this next player, you can't say enough oh, good things. Man. I hear you praise some players, but the words you use to describe Brian Dumoulin, it's nothing but praise and respect. It was amazing, the special ride, and being able to, to have that joy at the end of the year, have our parents and uh, my wife at the game is, is special, and um, same goes with 17. I mean, we ended up finishing right before playoffs on a hot streak, and I uh, didn't look back in playoffs, and I remember in both, both playoffs that we needed a little bit of luck, and we got some good bounces on our side, and Sometimes you need that, and yeah, it's it pretty cool to win those two championships back to back. It's just great to see how you've developed as a person, Brian, and a you know a husband and a dad. Could you talk about you know your family and, and your dog too, uh, and just what it's been like to to you know to have your life evolve as it has as a member of the Pittsburgh Penguins? It's been amazing, and I mean the one thing with Pittsburgh too is they're so good with family. I mean they uh, they really care about. Uh, kind of your significant other, your kids. Uh, they let them in the locker room after games. It's become a home for us, so it's something that we cherish and uh, we love the city of Pittsburgh. Your son's name is Braden. What interest does he have in hockey at this point? He's uh, picking up a stick and smacking around a ball with one hand. That's about as far as we got, but uh, he's having fun playing with toys and trucks right now and trains, that's kind of his thing. What's your dog's name? The dog's name is Rue, yeah, she's an English bulldog. Rue, just accept it. You gotta get a bath, you stink. This is the hardest thing you gotta do all day, Rue. Dumo, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thanks, Daddy, appreciate it.